this tree leaves. So we can see everything from up here. Don't fall. Hmm. It's a long way down. Don't look down. Oh, man. What do you think about a, a story break? That sounds good. Come on up here with me. You, you can see everything from here. Like you can see the pasture. You can see the cows. Oh, look at there. I even see a few wild azaleas over there. Come on, let's see if we can sit here. Can I sit here? Uh, no, come on up here with me. Don't be scared. Ooh. I promise I won't tell any of your friends uh, how scared you were. Come on, you can do it. It's fine. It's not going to rock. No, come closer. No, I, I you can't hear the story over there. I can hear it. Scoot. Scoot a little bit. No, I'm good. Come on, yeah. scoot. Just like that. Watch. No. Scoot. Scoot. Good. Just like that. Stop. Come yeah. on. See, it's not going to go anywhere. But you can see the ground. You're not going to fall. <laughs> come on. Come on. The animals in my story today weren't scared. <laughs> come on. By the time you get up here, this tree's going to be decomposed. There you go. I'm up here. I can I can hear it. Oh good. goodness gracious. All right. So boy, I tell you it's been a pretty day. Uh so I'm glad we got to get outside and enjoy it. Uh, all right, so story, right? Yeah. You know, let's see. Yesterday was Easter and uh, a lot of people are celebrating it and some people you know, celebrate the Easter bunny coming out. How about how about a story with a rabbit in it? Alright, that sounds good. Did you know that rabbits used to have tails? No. Yeah, probably they did. Bears used to have tails. Most animals nowadays have long, beautiful tails. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, would you be interested in knowing how a rabbit lost his tail? Yeah. And bear, too. You know, bears, they don't have really tails nowadays either, well, do they? they? Don't. But, but they used to. Well, way back when, for the hairs on my chin, Things were way different than they are now. This is way back when the animals could talk to each other. Most animals had tails. Nowadays, we know foxes have tails, luxurious tails, but way back when, it was rabbit with the most beautiful tail. He was proud of that tail. He loved to show that tail off. Bear, too. Bear had a long, furry tail. Now, rabbit besides having the most beautiful tail in the woods he was the forest trickster that's how he entertained himself he loved going around and pulling jokes on people you know he's also the reason that owl can turn his head all the way around rabbit played so many tricks on owl that owl was always looking and going who who that who that who that he was always wondering where Rabbit was because he thought Rabbit was going to play another trick on him. But there was one animal in the woods that Rabbit had never played a trick on. And guess who that was? Fox. No, no. no. Bear. Bear. That's right. So bear was so big and strong and mean. He threatened all the other animals. Hey, what's Rabbit going to do? Rabbit going to play a trick on me. You better tell me or I'm going to swallow you up. So he would threaten all the other animals. And they would tell him what Rabbit was going to do. So Rabbit never got to play a trick on Bear. So Rabbit, he tricked all the other animals in the woods. And he was getting bored. So one year, Rabbit waited until winter. I know right now it's spring. This might sound weird having a winter story in spring, but it's still got rabbits in it. So rabbit waited till one winter when most animals are doing what? Hibernating. Hibernating and sleeping. And that's when he decided he was going to get bear. Nobody could tell what he was going to do. So rabbit got to thinking, how can I trick bear in the winter? What can I do? What does bear really really like i know bear loves fish can't get enough fish and he's sleeping he gets hungry if i can think of something to do with fish i'll get bear no problem i got it so rabbit had him an idea 
and he started looking around the woods for a nice frozen pond, and he found him one. The rabbit, he hopped out onto the frozen pond, and he cut a hole in the pond. Now, he cut a hole in the shallow part of the pond where he knew there'd be a lot of fish when it was cold and then rabbit took his long bushy tail and he stuck that tail down into the hole he cut in the pond and he let his tail wiggle a little bit and sure enough he felt a little nibble on it and he yanked his tail out as fast as he could and on the end of his tail was a big fat catfish and he laid it down beside him, and he stuck his tail in there again. He let it wiggle a little bit, and when he felt it tickle, he yanked his tail out of there as quick as he could, and there was another catfish on it. He kept sticking his tail in and yanking it out, and before long, he had a mountain of catfish five feet high. Now, to you and me, does a mountain of catfish sound very good? Kind of probably yeah, smelly. smelly after a while. So for you and me, that might stink, but... When that smell got to going through the woods, there was one animal that smelled it, and it made his tummy rumble. Guess who it was? Bear. It was Bear in his cave hibernating. He smelled those smelly catfish, and his stomach started rumbling. I smell, I smell fish. Who's got fish in winter? I gotta go find this out. And so Bear, he followed his nose through the woods until he found Rabbit with that pile of fish. And he said, hey, Rabbit, how you get all them catfish? Show me how you do it before I eat you up. All right, Bear, all right, hold on just a minute. I'm gonna help you out. So you, you want you a mountain of catfish? <laughs> What you got to do is find you a hole in the pond and you stick your tail down into that water and you wiggle your long bushy tail in and when you feel something nibble, you yank it out just as fast as you can. But, but Bear, you cannot use my hole right here. You know, Bear, I, I just fished this hole dry. All the fish are gone. Let me take you to the best spot on the whole pond and you're going to catch a mountain of fish bigger than mine. All right, rabbit, you show me where the best spot is. I'm hungry. I, I weigh 10 of you, rabbit. I need to eat way more fish than that. So come on, show me where this best fishing spot is. And so rabbit took Bear to the deepest part of the pond where he knew right now there was no fish. And he said, Bear, I'm gonna help you cut a hole in the pond. And he did. And Bear, he stuck his ooh, burr, he stuck his ooh, tail into that freezing cold water. Ooh. Rabbit, you sure about this? That, that, that water's cold right here. I don't know if I'm going to get any fish right here. No, 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 Bear. You, you sit your tail in there and you wait. And sure enough, you'll be getting a fish bite in no time. And so then Rabbit, he hopped off. He left Bear in the middle that frozen pond. So Rabbit, he took his fish home with him. He had him a big old fish fry that night, and he washed it all down with a cup of hot chocolate. Rabbit was nice and warm in his burrow with that chocolate and with those fish, and when he was tired and his belly was full, he went, he went to bed. <sighs> but the next morning, when the sun came up, he woke up too. Uh, I better go check on Bear to see how he's doing. So Rabbit went outside his burrow, and everywhere he could see, it was nothing but white. White, white everywhere. It had come a blizzard the night before, so everything was covered in piles of snow. And so Rabbit, he hopped out into that frozen pond, he looked, and he looked. He couldn't even find the hole that he used yesterday. But out there in the middle of that frozen pond, there was a big mound of something. And Rabbit, he hopped a little closer, and he figured out that big mound of snow, that was Bear. 
bear stayed out all night long. I got him, I got him, I got him. Rabbit thought, I made bear sit out all night long, and he's a frozen bear sickle. <laughs> oh, but, but, but I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. So Rabbit, he hopped up to where Bear was covered in that snow. Bear was almost frozen solid. And then Rabbit, he hopped up a little closer. He brushed some snow off till he could find Bear's ear. And then he went right up to Bear's ear and he yelled as loud as he could, Yank, Bear, yank! And it scared Bear awake and Bear yanked as hard as he could, but his tail was frozen in the water. So when Bear yanked up, his tail yanked off. Oh, 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 my tail, oh, my tail, oh, my tail. Oh, and he was hurt bad. He was yelling and screaming, oh, my tail. And he looked down in the frozen pond, and there was his tail ripped off, stuck in the frozen water. Oh, my tail. Oh, that hurts. Oh. And he looked over, and he saw Rabbit. And you know what Rabbit was doing? What? He was laughing. Rabbit was on the ground laughing. I got you, Bear. I got you good. You never thought I was going to get you. I'll pull a joke on you, Bear. <laughs> You should have seen your face. And Bear got angry. Bear reached down at Rabbit. He pulled him by the ear and he held Rabbit up and he said, Rabbit, I ain't never going to forgive you what you did to me. You made me lose my tail and you're about to lose yours. And he took Rabbit's long, bushy tail in his teeth and he, hum, he bit straight through Rabbit's tail and he threw it off into the woods and rabbit yep oh and then bear looked at rabbit and said rabbit you ever get anywhere near me again i'm gonna bite off more than your tail and rabbit he high-tailed it ha 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 he high-tailed it out of there and from that day till this rabbits don't have tails bears don't have tails and rabbits and bears are no friends of each other now you know why bears and but a uh, rabbit rabbit don't have tails. How about that? What you like to have seen what a rabbit's long tail look like? Yeah. Mm. I wonder if it's kind of like a, a kangaroo's tail. They like to jump too a little bit, uh -huh. don't they? Wonder what bears tail look like. Hmm. Uh -huh. I guess we'll never know. Maybe one of you can write a story or draw a picture of what you think rabbits and bears' tails used to look like. Well, boys and girls, I hope y'all have uh, a rest of a good day. Make it a mighty fine Monday or whatever day it is you're watching this. Stella and I are enjoying our woods, and we're going to keep exploring this tree. Oh, look. It looks like Maggie treated a squirrel. We better go uh, see if we can help that squirrel down a little bit or Maggie's going to bite that squirrel's tail off, huh? All right, we'll see y'all later. Bye.